One morning, after many days of clear skies, dark clouds rolled over the mountains and rain pelted down. The tule reeds of the teepee covering swelled with water and kept out the rain. The women turned from preparing food to work they could do inside the dry, cozy teepees until the storm passed. Ala took out the hemp cord and the bear grass she needed to weave some flat bags. She dyed the bear grass soft shades of red, green, and yellow. She gave some brown cord to Kaya, then started a bag for Speaking Rain to work on. Although Speaking Rain couldn't see, she could make fine cord and could weave by touch once Ala set the first rose. Itza and Brown Deer were mending moccasins for the twins who napped on their deerskins. As he always did, Wingfeather slept with his hand tucked into his baby moccasin, which he cradled under his chin. For a long time, they worked in silence. Kaya liked the quiet teepee. The sound of rain falling on the tule mat soothed her. In fact, she wished she could stay inside their teepee, where no one called her magpie, and never go out again.